Hey booze, hey, it is your girl, the Rising Phoenix Empath, coming at you from Maryland, and I wanted to jump on real quick and give you a part five, and this is the final uh, video on this topic. Um, FYI, disclaimer, um, the last video I posted was video number four, it's captioned as number three, and the video before that is video number three, captioned as number four. I actually make the correction in the comments. If you were to go to the comments, you can see that I captioned the videos the correct number. So, um, wanted, to, wanted to clarify that. And I also wanted to clarify my purpose for making these videos. Number one, I really thought it was a good topic because every day we deal with people. We deal with situations and we, you know, we really go at it and deal with it from a mundane and carnal type of world view, a view, right? Um, when in fact, a lot of the things that you go through that jolt your spirit, that uh, make you upset, that, you know, try to get you out of character, that do all of these things, a lot of these things are spiritual in nature. Okay, wanted to say that. And I really wanted to do this video because it was, I just thought it was really interesting. And I wanted to remind you guys that the war is not carnal. And that when you are operating and walking in your gifts, and when you are walking and operating in the light, when you're just good, right? You don't have to go around telling people that I go to church and I go to this church. You don't have to do that because the fruits of your life, the way you treat people, the way you talk about people, the way that people feel when they leave your presence, that tells the true tale of whether or not you are operating in the light or in the darkness, right? And I say that to say, so number one, wanted to really shed light on spiritual warfare. And this is really, for me, is a form of spiritual warfare. One of many battles that I have gone through this year, okay? And I'm not going to give too much more attention to it. I'm not going to post about it every day. Um, like I said, I'm not a gossiper. I don't want to demonize anybody. I don't, I haven't backbitten. I haven't gone to any other people within this community to try to demonize anybody or try to get anybody to take my side or to try to make other people not like them or, you know, it's just, I'm not a divisive person. My experience, I understand that my experience with people won't be somebody else's experience with people. And it's okay for people not to be for you, period. But it is how you respond to people opting out on you that can really cause a domino effect of negative events that could impact people's lives greatly. That's what I'm going to say, okay? So, the second reason I really wanted to document this because over the months I've kept quiet. This has been going on for months on, upon months, right? And there's a lot of details that I did not mention because some of the stuff, the accusations are quite serious and I don't want to be a person that falsely accuses because I don't know for sure anybody are doing anything. So I don't speak on it, right? Um, but there are details, right? And there are details I didn't mention. And for the sake of just, you know, condensing the videos. But I will say that the property lines came into question as well. Um, and I won't go to, into, into too much detail with that. Um, but yeah. Um... So, I really wanted to document my experience. 
in the event that this continues to escalate. Now, I do believe that the actions that I have taken and the actions that I will continue to take will de-escalate this thing because I understand this is not carnal. It is spiritual. And if I type in, I can put a stop to it and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to take other carnal measures to ensure my safety when I'm on the roads and to ensure the safety of my home. But it's sad that that's the stance I have to take. Now, and I also will stay that spirit is in, it, it, you know, is so unsettled by me. And I do believe, and I, the Facebook post that I mentioned that I posted, I posted it on the community page because I wanted to make the community aware of what happened to me on Thursday. I wanted to make the community aware. I didn't mention names and I actually posted as if I did not know who the driver was because I did not want to, um, I didn't want to put him, put nobody out there like that. But I wanted to, just like he wanted to passively, aggressively intimidate me, I wanted to passively, aggressively let him know and put him on notice that I have taken the proper um, steps to ensure my safety. Um, that's it and that's all. And this is a, this is just my testimony. Um, what I'm going through in real time and I want it recorded because like I said, if it escalates, it's recorded, it's on, it's on TikTok, it's on Facebook. And people are going to know who to look at if anything further takes place. And that's where I am with it. Today, we were coming home at the same time. We, I guess we both left out and we were coming back at the same time and he was in front of me and he started to drive very, very slow as we entered the neighborhood he started to drive very, 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 very slow. And I just stopped my car. I stopped my car to let him go. And then as he was turning into his driveway, which he was turning extremely slow because there was no other cars on the road. There was no traffic. I just went around. But these are the types of petty and um, petty and vindictive things that he is doing to rattle me, to get under my skin, and I guess to make me, you know, act like the stereotype he thinks I am. So, anyway, um, that's it. That's it on this topic. Wanted to just jump on, clarify some things, and um, get it recorded.